Hi everyone. You know my motto, thirsty is no way to live. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for taking a few minutes out of your day to spend with me. It means more to me than I can ever let you know. I appreciate you guys so much, so thank you from the bottom of my heart. If you are new to my channel, I hope that you would consider hitting that little red subscribe button before you go. I would love to have you come back and join us for future videos. Today we are doing my Wink Wine Club. I am so enjoying this. I am new to, to wine and experimenting and not really sure what kind of wines I like. What am I drawn to? In the past, I was drawn to like the labels or the shape of the bottle and never had good luck that way. I'm having really fun luck with Wink, just trying different wines from all over the world. I'll have a video linked up here. That'll be my first video that kind of explains a little bit more about it. I'll also have a playlist at the end of this video so you can check out the other wines that I've had. If you use my link below, it's going to take you right to the Wink website going to fill out a quick questionnaire. It's not going to be about what kind of wines do you like. It's going to be what kind of foods do you like? What are you drawn to? From those answers, they can curate a box for you. Your first four bottles, if you decide to join, will be $29.95. If you log on using your Ebates Rakuten account as well, you're going to get $9 off that. So your first four bottles are going to be $20.95. If you decide to stick with it, your next four bottles the next month will be $59.95. Shipping is free. And the best part for me, of course, if you use my link, is I get a free bottle of wine. Yeah, I know. Isn't this a great country? So anyway, this month, I'm so excited. I got a rosé from California. I got two white wine blends from South Africa. And I got a sparkling white wine, like a champagne, from Spain saving that one for last so anyway the one i'm going to open today is the rosé it's a 2020 summer it's called summer water and it's a rosé and i do not always have good luck with rosés i bought one a few years ago and i bought it because the bottle was pretty shape it was molded it was so pretty and the wine it looks lollipops. It was it was not good. So I do not have luck picking out some wines, but I have had some incredible luck with Wink. Here it is. So I want to thank you guys so much again for stopping in because we all know it's not healthy for Nancy to drink alone. Yeah, I did that wrong. I, yeah, I'm not a pervert, trust me. But anyway, got my wine right here. I got my Robin with a Y wine glass. She's in a teal dress like me. She's got some Swarovski jewelry on. Looking forward to trying this. So it's a nice, it's a pale, kind of like a pinky peach color. Alrighty. So it's going to try to get through these a little bit faster. I would like to be able to get these four wines in, in like less than 15 minutes. But I'm not doing so good. Alrighty. So it smells sweet. I smell strawberry, maybe some orange, something tart back here. I don't know if that's the orange or lemon, but we'll give it a try. Alrighty. Cheers, everyone. Happy Friday. Mm. This has got grapefruit in it, but not a bad grapefruit. It's kind of on the sweeter side. Maybe that's because it's got orange and strawberry in here. It's dry, but it feels creamy. It feels rich. You can feel the acidity kicking in back here with the fruits in it. It's going to have another quick sip. See if I taste anything else. It's dry, but not so dry that your mouth just kind of dries out. It's got that fruit in there. So it, it waters, your mouth waters at the same time, and it's just, oh, it's perfect, perfect summer wine. Alrighty, so let me dig out my cheat sheet here that I pulled from their website. So, okay, 2020 Summer Water Rosé. 
It's from the Central Coast in California. Um, out of the 10,446 customers that rated this, it got a 4.1 out of 5 stars. So that's pretty cool. Um, it says it's light body. It's dry. Alcohol is 12.5%. Um, it says tasting notes of orange peel, pink grapefruit, strawberry, and watermelon. So maybe that watermelon is part of that would help make it sweeter besides the strawberry and the orange peel. They just counteract with that pink grapefruit in such a lush way. So anyway, don't want to go too much farther, but it says summer water is more than the rosé of the season. It's a state of mind and every drop is full of pink possibility. And I'm just going to go to the end of this. So light fair like shellfish. I don't know what savash is. And salads will pair swimmingly or just drink it chilled anytime you need a shot of happiness. Calories 112. There's 2.9 grams of carbs. Zero protein. Zero fat. It says to serve it chilled. It pairs well with sushi, salad, cheese and fries. So anyway, I want to thank you guys so much for stopping in and we will see you next week for bottle number two. Hi everyone, welcome back for bottle number two from my Wink Wine Club. Today we are going all the way to the tip of South Africa for a 2021 Shiraz. So this is from Chami. It's got this really cool label. This name Chami. Anyway, so I hope everyone had a great week. We have had some fantastic weather. It's been, we've had some cooler days. We've had some days like up in the 90s, very hot, very humid, the nights have been like down in the 60s so comfortable so anyway i hope you all had a great week so anyway this is a nice deep red color like a purpley red this has got amazing legs i wish I, I knew how to get that to show you but it is really coating the side of the glass which means it's got a higher alcohol content i'm going to kind of stir it around i think there's fireworks going on outside again sorry about that I guess my neighborhood likes to party. Alrighty, there we go. Oh my gosh, it smells like, you know how you get those chocolate covered cherries sometimes? So you got that really sweet, the maraschino cherry with the juices in it and then the dark chocolate shell. That's what this smells like. Maybe some plum, just smells really rich. Alrighty, cheers everyone. This is nice. It's dry, but it's crisp. It's rich. It's got a nice, heavy, full body. It's got nice tannins in it. Not enough to like dry your out and pucker, pucker your mouth, but just nice to dry enough, enough roots back there. So you just kind of get that acidity kicking around. It waters your mouth waters. It's just really, really nice. It's a nice, subtle flavor of the fruits, but still really nice. I think that would go great with the meal. Nice with the charcuterie board. Nice for just kind of sitting, having just this much wine, reading a book for a few hours. Perfect. Alrighty, so on to my cheat sheet. So again, it's a 2021 Shiraz from Chami from the Western Cape of South Africa. It's a new newer wine. So out of the 43 people that have tasted it and rated it, it's got a 4.0 rating. Um, textured, jammy, and dark. Uh, it's got a full body dry and 14.3 percent alcohol tasting notes black pepper dark cherry dark chocolate dark plum again just really really nice i'm going to enjoy that later so it says chami is a south african shiraz that's packed with spice and dark fruit notes chami is slang for friend in the gorgeous lands of south africa where this shiraz was made it's produced in the western cape region where the cool afternoon sea breeze creates favorable conditions for ripening um, the end result is a lush textured shiraz that pairs bold spice 
and savory notes with abundant dark fruit. We can't think of a better partner for all your adventures than this extremely companionable charmy. How to serve it? It says to serve at room temperature. It says it pairs well with burgers, lamb, cheeses, and veggies. So another great wine from my Wink Wine Club. Really enjoying this. So again, I want to thank you guys so much for taking a few minutes out of your day. And we will see you next Friday for bottle number three. Hi everyone, welcome back for bottle number three from the seventh box of my Wink Wine Club. Having so much fun with this subscription. Today we have a white blend wine from South Africa. This is called Cape Root. The label has some really pretty flowers, some greenery there. It's 2020. I hope everyone is having a great week. I think this week we might have had like one day in the 90s. And then it's been like 70s, 80s, and the nights are getting cool. We're down to like 50s and 60s at night. Feels really great to sleep with that window open and just get some fresh air while you're trying to sleep. That feels really nice. But leaves are starting to change. Fall is coming. Back to school. Sorry, kids. So anyway, we have got this white wine. Because I'm kind of wearing this animal print dress, I have got my... Robin with a white wine glass with her animal print dress on. So anyway, cheers everyone. I hope you are having a great week. Alrighty. Ah, so I smell apples. Like maybe sour apples, of like Granny Smith apples. Something citrusy, maybe a, maybe a mix of like orange, lemon zest. It smells really nice. Cheers everyone. Happy Friday. Mm. this is tart it's good but it's tart this is um perfect for those cool nights where you're kind of thirsty you're not quite in the mood for a heavy red wine but you don't want anything fruity you just want something light this is it Alrighty, so it's kind of like um, it's got kind of like a smooth velvety. I mean, it is dry, and you just have that nice texture. It's kind of not as buttery as a Chardonnay, not velvety as a Merlot, but some kind of mix. It's got a really nice texture to it. You can taste the apples. The tannins are dry, but it's it's not so dry that it just kind of dries you out. It's just just a really nice mix here. So let's hear it. Well, I'll read it. You can hear what um, Wink says about this wine. So again, 2020 Cape Root White Blend. Uh, it's from the Western Cape, South Africa. Out of the 2,279 people that had this wine and rated it, it's got 3.7 out of 5, so that's not bad. It says it's crisp, citrus, and refreshing. It's got a light body. Sweetness is dry. Alcohol, 12.6%. It says the tasting notes are bell pepper, citrus, grass, and white flowers doesn't mention anything about the apple oh well i get it wrong i'm sorry so from renowned california winemaker ernst storm comes this energetic white blend from his native south africa cake brute is the creation of ernst storm a winemaker who splits his time between santa barbara and his homeland in south africa born in hermanus near cape town in the famed walker bay appalachian Ernst landed in California in 2003 and has since honed a mix of modern techniques along with the handcrafted methods of the cake. It says this is a blend of 50% Chenin Blanc and 50% Sauvignon Blanc. It's a zesty white that's bursting with citrus and apple notes. Okay, I got apple right. Yeah, I don't always get it. Uh, with a touch of minerality. Just like the meandering scenic road it's named for, a stretch of the longest wine route on earth. Cape Root is one of South Africa's best kept secrets. So again, this has got a nice, it's a crisp, but, but it is on the tart side. It's dry, but not too dry. It's just perfect for like 
going into fall, getting into these cooler nights. I'm so glad that you guys stopped in to spend some time with me, and we will see you next Friday for bottle number four. Have a good week, everyone. Love you guys. Hi everyone, welcome back to bottle number four of my seventh box from Wink Wine Club. I am so excited to be sharing this one with you. This one is a sparkling white wine. This is actually take number two because I struggled getting the cork off that it took me almost five minutes to get the cork out of this bottle. So I was wounded. I thought I would start again. So anyway, this one, it is, it's a called a Tarantis sparkling wine. It's a white blend. Again, I took the cork out already. It's been out of the refrigerator for a little bit, so it is starting to sweat on me. And the back even has a little bit about it. I don't know if it's going to focus, but it tells you about what pairs with it, uh, how to serve it chilled, gives you an even temperature if you have it in a wine cooler that you can put the temperature, regulate the temperature which is really good that it's on the bottle because you don't always remember when you buy it. Sometimes you get little cards or you look it up on the website and you know what you want to have with it. But then by the time you have it, you forget all about it. But anyway, happy Friday, everyone. So let's get this, let's get this wine flowing, shall we? Cheers, everyone. Oh my gosh, it has been another long week. I took another week off from filming. Um, did do some vid, you know, watch some videos this week and just worked probably about every night to like 9, 9.30. So not a lot of energy, but I saved it all up for Friday. Yeah, because I knew I wanted to finish this wink box so I could be ready for my next box. So anyway, cheers, everyone. I've got it in a champagne flute. It's not champagne, but it's a sparkling wine. You can see it does have some effervescence, not as much as like a champagne, but that's okay. Alrighty, I'm going in. Happy Friday, everyone. Oh, it smells sweet. I smell like honey, maybe some lemon, maybe like a Granny Smith apple, something tart. Alrighty. Cheers, everyone. Hope you had a great week and looking forward to a great weekend. Mmm. Mmm, that is nice. It's got some nice flavor. It's got a nice, it's got a creamy type texture to it. It just, um, it is dry, but you do have the sweetness of the fruits and of course a little bit of the effervescence. It's just, it's nice on the palate. You get all the acidity in the back. You melt waters from the fruit. I'm gonna have another sip because it's so good. Mm. This is like heaven in a bottle. I would hope they definitely send this one again. So again, this is a 2019, it's a Tarantis sparkling white wine. It comes all the way from Spain. Out of the 331 people that tasted this and rated it, it came out with a four out of five. So that's really good. It says it's got a medium body, uh, dry. The alcohol is 11.5%. It says tasting notes of green apple, honey, lime, and white flowers. It says Tarantis is a lush but balanced sparkling wine that's a champagne ringer. If you've got a champagne taste but not a champagne budget, that's me. The Tarantis sparkling white is ready to come to the rescue. I love to be rescued, don't you? From a Mediterranean adjacent growing region, this is a blend of local grapes, Aaron and Maccabio. <coughs> Sorry, still got a cold from going to the grocery store last week. Um, sourced from organic region. This is a blend of local grapes. I already read that. Uh, all from organic vineyards. It punches well above its price point as it offers richness and complexity not often found in a Spanish sparkling wine. You can expect notes of lemon custard, melon rind, and toasted almond alongside a bouquet of exotic white flowers. It says this will be a hit with seafood, shellfish, or fried appetizers. 111 calories per glass, no protein, no fat, 5.5 grams of carbs if you pay attention to that. 
it says uh, how to serve it, serve it chilled. And again, it pairs well with selfish, not selfish, shellfish. Sushi, pasta with cream sauce and fries. So again, this was really nice. I am so glad that uh, Wink Wine picked this for me to send it in my bundle last month. And yeah, it takes me a while to finish four bottles of wine, sorry. But this is really good. I hope they send it to me again. And more than that, I hope that you guys are all doing well. I want to thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch these videos. I know I'm still trying to figure out how to get four bottles of wine in under 15 minutes. Not quite getting there, but I'm enjoying every minute of it and enjoying talking to you guys so much. So anyway, thanks again. Um, I hope everyone has a great weekend. Take care, everyone. Stay safe. Be kind. Enjoy life. Be happy. Have fun. Alrighty. Love you guys so much. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.